So we've had the Oscars that took place and there were several viral moments, guys, and I have to get into it for you guys. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch, and let's get straight into this video. Subscribe, 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 guys. Click that button, daily and consistent content. So we have so many viral moments that took place. Who's messaging me? Oh, so many viral moments that, you know, took place last night at the 2021 Oscars. I wasn't actually watching it. I was watching the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion, but we just have a lot to get into. And first of all, was Riz Ahmed went viral himself, you know, fixing his wife's hair, stopping the photographers and the paps and making sure that his wife looks good. And of course, everybody began to love that moment because it was very candid. It wasn't forced and it was a man looking after his wife and taking care of her. And I just feel like Riz Ahmed is one of the few individuals from like an Asian Arab background that is really, really you know, going to the front force when it comes to the acting kind of entertainment industry and you don't have that massive amount of a demographic in that world. There really is a space for that. So I feel like Riz is definitely doing what he needs to do and that particular moment was a PR beauty. It's like it just a dream. They wanted something like that from to go viral. It helps him, helps his character, helps his profile and I was here for that. Then we have Daniel Kaluuya who obviously, you know, um, won the Oscar which is the first Oscar for a British black individual to win in 93 years, I believe. So he really created major history, but he also created a viral moment. And that is when, that is when he was obviously talking about um, his parents, how grateful he was, and then saying that, you know, I'm grateful that they had sex. And his mother's face was like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you mentioning me in this way? Collect your award, be thankful, and just go. We're enjoying ourselves tonight because we've got to celebrate. We've got to celebrate life, man. We're breathing, we're walking. It's incredible. It's incredible. Like, it's incredible. My mum met my dad. They had sex. It's amazing. Like, do you understand? I'm here. You know what I mean? So, I'm so happy to be alive. So I'm gonna celebrate that tonight. Why do we need to even go there? And that in itself was just quite funny because her face, she was just, it just spoke words and just volumes and she was like, very confused as to why that was being asked. I feel like when it comes to, you know, parents from either, you know, African or Asian or Arab kind of households and you're really mentioning sex and stuff like that in front of them, they will obviously get uncomfortable because they obviously didn't grow up like that. The person in the room, appreciate everyone watching at home, you know, love. Trust me, I'm gonna avoid my phone for a bit. I think my mum's not gonna be very happy. <laughs> but she's gonna be cool, she's gonna be cool. Nah, she's gonna be cool. She's just like, she knows, she's got a sense of humor, so she, like, we give it to each other, so it's cool. That in itself was an absolutely hilarious moment. I was quite annoyed by the fact that Chadwick Boseman and Viola Davis did not win any awards. That in itself to me was very interesting, at least Chadwick Boseman, I feel like they kind of set it up, used him for ratings, they're gonna give him something and they didn't really, and Viola Davis definitely deserved an award. She is an extremely talented actress, and that in itself I found to be quite weird. We also then have Hal Berry, who also went viral, um, her outfit. I feel like, you know, when it comes to the hair, the wig that, or the hair piece that she was wearing, it just was not it. It reminded me of Nini from Atlanta. And I just feel like it's just something that I don't know who is doing, who is a stylist, but she's just not giving what she needs to give and she's not getting it right at all. Nobody needed that kind of like, you know, chopped situation that she was wearing on her head, that kind of bob, as, as, Nini, as Nini would say. I feel like it was very unfortunate and people were obviously talking about it online as well. Then we have an actress, I believe her name was Glenn. Maybe her name's kind of gone out of my head, but... Same time that you had on, but you know, do you know the dance though? Do you know how to do the butt? Quest, turn it up. Come on, let's see it. Let me see the butt. Let's see it. Of course, you know, she started shaking her butt as well, randomly, um, and that in itself was absolutely hilarious because nobody really expected that as well. We have Zendaya who um, came through with a beautiful, luscious yellow outfit. I feel like she always, always dominates when it comes to the red carpets and she always creates some kind of Twitter trend going on just in reference to how beautiful she is looking. She's one of the very few individuals who has that power to do that online and she looks absolutely amazing. I'm not even mad at, um, at Hallie's um, outfit. Like I'm really not mad at the outfit, it's just the hair has ruined it for me. I would have loved to have seen something, something far longer and go down, but I feel like that outfit just really wasn't it. it. Like it wasn't it at all. Then we have Glenn Close, of course, you know, that, that that's her name. She was the one that was going dancing a butt off, which was absolutely hilarious. We then have Regina King, who looks 
absolutely amazing with this outfit. I feel like it just suits her shoulders so much. I normally don't like outfits where shoulders are coming out. I'm not a big fan of that, but I feel like she did absolutely amazing here and the color suits her as well. And I'm just very, very here for that. I do like Viola Davis's outfit. I feel like she kept it simple cute embroidery which I'm not mad at she didn't do too much that would complicate the outfit and I'm happy for that as well but I feel like the men just looked absolutely amazing Daniel looked amazing I feel like Riz Ahmed looked amazing both of them I just loved his kind of outfit normally it's quite rare to go with an outfit that's not really with a suit and tie and you have a blazer and kind of like a, um, a jump underneath or something in a very kind of suave manner but I feel like Riz Ahmed dealt with it very well and I feel like this Oscars was definitely Oscar worthy um, but I just feel like Chadwick and Violet should have won something the fact that they just gave it to Anthony Hopkins last minute to me felt very rushed I believe the man wasn't even there and of course he's obviously called so much mess and he didn't even know that he was probably sleeping and woke up to an Oscar and I feel like Chadwick just deserved that because they amped it up as if he was going to win and it just never really took place but yeah these were some of the top viral moments I believe from the Oscars let me know what your thoughts are. Did you guys watch the Oscars? Who did you want to win? And you know, who were your favorites? Let me know what your thoughts are guys when it comes to this video. What are your thoughts? Subscribe to the channel. Click that button guys for daily and consistent content and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.